get up, get ready, because we have another at-home edition of World of Fortnite for you. I'm your host, Sarah Pookyface Lynn, and we have a great show for you today. We're looking at five Fortnite locations that suddenly disappeared in the rotation. Point of interest has everything you need to know about the loop, and of course, we have everything the community is passing around in low ground. Kick the rumor mill into high gear because leakers are saying that Ariana Grande is on her way to Fortnite. Previously, the anonymous leaker correctly predicted the release of Superman, Rick Sanchez, LeBron James, and even Season 6's foreshadowing quests. Now they're claiming that Ariana Grande will not only be coming to Fortnite, but will also have an in-game concert. If that happens, I for one will definitely be there. All right, we're looking at locations that have randomly disappeared in the rotation. You don't want to miss it. If you don't know yet, Coral Castle is finally being taken out of Fortnite. It is no secret that the game often manipulates its map, skins, and even weapons randomly without trying to fit it into the lore. While some locations such as Stark Industries and the Agency play key roles in the story, other locations are randomly added and taken out without an explanation. Some of these are even favorites among the players, and their disappearance leaves us wondering why Epic made the decision to take them out. Here are 5 Fortnite locations that randomly appeared only to disappear from the game for no reason whatsoever. At number 5, we have the Yacht. Featured in Chapter 2 Season 2, the yacht floated in the ocean north of Craggy Cliffs. Unlike other POIs on this list, the yacht actually had a story of its own. For several weeks, the two factions, Ghost and Shadow, battled for control over it. When Deadpool took control over it, it became a battle between him and Meowsles the Cat. The fight finally ended with Deadpool winning and Meowsles being forced to retreat to the south, creating his own location, Caddy Corner. With the end of the season, the yacht randomly disappeared with no explanation at all. It was definitely far more popular than Coral Castle and made for some pretty great fights. Number 4 on our list is Fortilla. This is one of the rare corner locations in Fortnite that actually got extremely popular. The Fortilla made its first appearance in Chapter 2 Season 3, where the map had flooded after Midas's failed attempt to control the storm. It was one of the most unique locations ever created in the game, and it was always fun to land there. It had great loot, a vault, and you had multiple ways to escape if the storm was closing in fast. You could take a boat, the chopper, ride a shark, fly with the whirlpool, or even use a porta potty to teleport closer to Slurpee Swamp. Sadly, the Fortilla was taken out when the season ended, leaving the bottom left corner of the map dry and uneventful. At number 3, we have Starry Suburbs. This place had a pretty weird trajectory in the game. It started out as an unnamed location near Pleasant Park in Chapter 1 Season 2. Back then, it was just a bunch of broken buildings and players had nicknamed it as Hogwarts because of its castle-like look. It disappeared in the game in Season 4 and we didn't see it for quite some time. Over a year later in Season X, Starry Suburbs returned as a full-fledged location in Update 10.40 with shooting stars that you could interact with to obtain weapons. It only took three weeks for the chapter one map to collapse into a black hole, making it the most short-lived Fortnite location of all time. At number two, we have the soccer stadium. The stadium replaced the ruined version of Starry Suburbs as soon as it left, and it is assumed that this location was added in just for the 2018 FIFA World Cup. It wasn't a crossover location like Pandora in Season X, and it didn't look like it would leave as quickly as it did. It had no connection to the lore, it destroyed the ruined castle, and it disappeared four short weeks later when Season 5 arrived. At number 1, we have the unnamed prison from chapter 1. The prison lay to the northwest of Moisty Mire and only lasted for the first four seasons of Fortnite. If you played back then, you probably have some great memories of landing in this place and exploring the loot in its numerous cells. The empty, abandoned prison gave off some pretty creepy vibes, and if you heard the sound of one of the iron doors opening, you knew you had company. When the meteor crashed into the island in season 4, parts of it fell in the center of the prison, leaving small craters and hop rocks that made 
made the place even more fun. But when season five dropped with its desert biome, the prison, along with the rest of Moisty Mire, disappeared for good. Moisty was never the most popular location because of its position on the map, but the disappearance of the prison left a lot of players complaining for its return. It came back in season X, but only partially, and hasn't been seen since then aside from in creative LTMs. And welcome to another edition of Playing with Pooks. This week, something I thought I would never say. Flying cows have made it to Fortnite. I mean, really, they're called inflatables. And while I appreciate the pun, I still cannot wrap my mind around the fact that Epic keeps adding items such as this one. So let's hop into some solos and see if we can't become cows. Is anyone landing here with me? I really, oh no. Oh no. Don't they understand? I just want to be a cow. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to fight. No, he's one shot. Oh, I see you, baby. And it, oh, this one's a real player. I'm a real boy. Okay, okay. Okay, we are back in it. For a moment, we were in the thick of it. What the heck? You just snuck in here, eh? <laughs> she still got it. Oh god, this guy over there. Correction. There was a guy over there. <laughs> don't buy the cow this game, I have to admit, it's been pretty fun. Where the heck did that come from? Do it again. I see you now. is this gun and why is it a flipping laser <gasps> I lagged ah! who wants some of this yo Rick doing this did I get it There's people here. Oh, there's a man. Hey, can you get me out of this cow suit? Oh, E. E is exit. It said it on the left hand side the whole time. I just wasted. No! 
Yes! Yes, please! Avenge me! Come on. I don't even think he picked up my inflatable. Anyway, uh, so you guys saw a little bit of the inflatable, uh, but I'm gonna, uh, 30 minutes any longer, my editors are not going to be happy. It seems like a super fun item. Honestly, land at Rick Sanchez, buy it for 25 gold. You definitely will not regret it. Anyway, I'm gonna hop off, guys. That's it for me, but I will see you next time in playing with Pooks. Bye! like this cool refreshing drink of water on a hot summer's day and low ground is like that water bottle that you left in your car overnight 40 degrees celsius humidity very warm warmer than body temperature you take a sip and you instantly regret it that's that's low ground first up games one is back to show us the secret ability of the mime emote
Real fake doors, but I'm calling shenanigans on this one. Next, Mr. Dune 2 pretends to be a juggling NPC to rack up some kills. It just kept working. Why did it just keep working? <laughs> Moving on, I only drop risky real says, wait, that's not LeBron. The crossover we did know we wanted. Next up, young cat girl gets killed by an invisible player. And his name is John Cena! Finally, Grey Fuse! Coming in for the crash landing. Right before they landed, I hope they yelled, Hey, turkey! Moving on, point of interest is everything you need to know and want to know about the loop. If you've played Fortnite, you've been in the loop. While the game's storyline has been going strong right since February of 2018, the loop was first mentioned in the second half of chapter one. As always, Fortnite used the term several times without directly explaining what it meant and how the loop really works. Throughout the seasons released in 2020 and 2021, we have a much better idea of what the loop is and how it works. The concept has been clarified through various seasonal events, as well as the recent Batman Fortnite crossover comic series. Today, we'll be taking you through a detailed explanation of what the loop is, how it works, and how important characters have interacted with it throughout Fortnite's storyline. The loop refers to the concept of a time loop that is constantly active in the Fortnite universe. The idea is that the island and its inhabitants are trapped in a recurring time loop. Each iteration of this loop can be referred to as one round of a Fortnite match. Once a match ends, another begins on the same island with players battling each other to be the last one standing. When Batman was trapped in the loop in the Zero Point comics, he decided to study its behavior and discovered several aspects of it that we were previously unaware of. The loop lasts for 22 minutes at a time, which is the approximate duration of an average battle royale match. The loop has some strange effects on the island and whoever's on it. Those in the loop do not have their voices and are completely muted, which explains why the battle royale mode doesn't have any voice acting, unlike Save the World. We first saw this effect when Thor entered our world in season 4 and couldn't talk at all. However, in the last issue of the Zero Point comics, we saw that Harley Quinn was somehow able to talk while in the loop. It was explicitly pointed out but we didn't get an explanation as to why she was an exception. A possible explanation can be that she genuinely enjoys being in the loop and doesn't wish to leave it. Being in the loop also wipes your memory while you're in it, turning you hostile with only survival being your goal. However, the loop cannot take away your emotions. This was revealed when Batman came across Catwoman in a scene and instinctively hesitated to go against her. Similarly, he recognized Harley Quinn when he felt a sense of familiarity around her in the comics. 
As he was gathering pieces of information about the world of Fortnite, he found a shack near Slurpee Swamp and noted everything down in it so that he would be able to recall it during the next iteration of the loop. He also studied the nature of the storm and figured out that the only way to escape the loop is to be the last one standing in the final circle of the match. This storm that slowly closes in around the island can be looked at as a timer counting down to the end of one iteration of the loop. In the device event, we saw the character Midas try to manipulate the storm by using the power of the zero point. Unfortunately, he ended up flooding the island instead. Back in season 4, the visitor had entered the loop through a comet. He tried to leave the island using a rocket and a rift, which left the island exposed to other worlds, including our real world. One of these rifts then brought in Drift in Season 5, and as we've seen in the recent seasons, many of characters have been dropping into the loop through rifts. As Chapter 2 progressed, we found out that the loop was being controlled by an organization called the Imagined Order, or IO, headed by a character called Dr. Sloan. When Galactus left the Zero Point Unstable in the Devourer of the World event, the IO sent Agent Jones to the loop to stabilize it, seal the bridge, and make sure no one could escape the loop. The Zero Point comics also revealed that the IO has more access to the loop than we imagined, including the ability to manipulate people's thoughts within the loop. The loop can be entered through multiple bunkers around the island that require specific energy frequencies to open up. It seems that the IO has been lurking right below us since the beginning of the game, going all the way back to the presence of the old Wailing Woods bunker. The loop is basically just Fortnite's representation of 2020. Or at least that's what 2020 felt like to me. That about does it for us, but for more of our content, check out our YouTube and Twitter channels at Squad State. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, here's your Victor Royale with cheese.